Hello, welcome to the CEO DG and La YouTube channel. Hello, welcome to the CEO DG and La YouTube channel. Learn general knowledge five question answers daily for 9th September 2021. I'm going to start today's Amazon's amazing five different quiz questions. Here is a uh, Amazon's main page and there to home page. You can find some categories here. I am clicking on programs and features. and uh, you can find some sub categories here searching for fun zone where we find daily quiz questions here fun zone page open the uh, win prize every day and uh, scrolling down for today's quiz questions here down 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 here it came quiz time now running 24 hours daily starts at 12 am answer and win will be 30000 So today's price amount is a thirty thousand rupees, and I'm going to start by clicking on play now button. Daily quiz time. Answer all five questions. Enter the lucky draw to win the prize by answering all five questions correctly. So if all five questions correct, then only there is a chance of entering the lucky draw. And also chance to win Amazon Pay that is today's amount rupees thirty thousand rupees. Now I am going to start without any further delay on uh, clicking on start button. Here is the most awaiting the first question. North Eastern Space Applications Center is located in which Indian state? Repeating the question. North Eastern Space Applications Center is located in which Indian state? Here the options are Meghalaya, Manipur, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh. Which is your guess? Which one you are guessing? And one more thing. Whenever you see five questions and options, guess any one answer. And after completion of five questions with my explanation. Test yourself how many questions were right and how many were wrong. Like that, you can uh, test your learning skills daily along with the extra information which I provide uh, in my daily videos. So uh, I'm adding some more info about this question. North Eastern Space Applications Center is a regional space center established in uh, September 2000. It was established in uh, September 2000 by. Joint Initiative of Department of Space, Government of India, and North Eastern Council to expedite the uses of remote sensing technology to discover natural minerals uncovered in the North Eastern states of India, and to promote overall growth of North Eastern states of India using space science and technology. North Eastern Space Applications Center was uh, set up with uh, a joint initiative of uh, DOS uh, and NEC in September 2000 at uh, Shillong in Meghalaya, India. The center has been uh, declared uh, a protected area by the state government. The center presently focuses on remote sensing and. Uh, Geographic Information Systems (GIS). Geographic Information Systems, uh, a satellite communication program and uh, space science research programs. So you got the answer. So as per the question, the correct option is uh, the Meghalaya. So North Eastern Space Application Center is located uh, in a uh, Shillong actually Shillong that is uh, in uh, Meghalaya state so here uh, uh, you are asked uh, which state so we have to write Meghalaya state so the first option I'm clicking on it so that's right came here 
Now moving to the second question. A court in Ecuador ruled in favor of revoking the citizenship of which current prisoner in the UK. So who is that current prisoner in the UK which the court in Ecuador ruled in favor of revoking the citizenship of that person. Who is he? Repeating the question, a court in Ecuador ruled in favor of revoking the citizenship of which current prisoner in the UK. So here the options are Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, Colleen Rowling, Chelsea Manning. Whom are you guessing? I am adding some more info. And uh, because of him, some governments also, they change their policies. Eh? Okay. Julian Paul Assange. Julian Paul Assange was born on 3rd July 1971 in Townsville, Queensland, Australia. He is an uh, Australian editor, publisher and activist uh, who founded uh, Wikileaks in 2006. So... <clears throat> Julian Paul Assange was the founder of Wikileaks uh, in 2006. Uh, Wikileaks came to international attention in 2010 uh, when it published uh, a series of leaks uh, provided by US Army intelligence analyst uh, Chelsea Manning. These leaks uh, included uh, the Baghdad airstrike collateral murder video that is uh, April 2010, uh, the Afghanistan war logs uh, in uh, July 2010, uh, the Iraq war logs uh, October 2010 uh, and uh, Kabul gate uh, in uh, November 2010. Uh, after the 2010 leaks, uh, the United States government uh, launched uh, a criminal investigation into WikiLeaks. Ecuador has revoked the citizenship of Julian Assange, the founder of Wikileaks, who is currently in a British prison. So, as per the question, the correct option is the second one, that is Julian Assange. A court in Ecuador ruled in favor of revoking the citizenship of Julian Assange, the current prisoner in the UK. So, I am clicking on the second option, Julian Assange. I think you guessed the same only. Superb, you seem to be a champion game here. Now, moving to the third question. In July 2021, which country's currency lost more than 90% of its value as gas, electricity, food and medicine are in short supply? Repeating the question. In July 2021, which country's currency lost more than 90% of its value as gas, electricity, food and medicine are in short supply? The options are Zimbabwe, Venezuela, Lebanon, Turkey. So, which country you are guessing? I am adding some more info. Lebanon, officially known as the Lebanese Republic, it is a country in Western Asia. It is bordered by Syria to the north and east and Israel to the south while Cyprus lies to its west across the Mediterranean Sea. Do you know the official language of the state? The official language of the state is Arabic. While uh, French is also formally recognized, Lebanon's uh, currency has lost uh, more than 90% of its value since uh, October 2019 uh, when anti government protests erupted. Uh, inflation and prices of uh, basic goods uh, have skyrocketed uh, in the country, which uh, imports more than 80% of its basic goods. So, in July 2021, Lebanon's 
currency lost more than 90% of its value as a gas, electricity, food and medicine are in a short supply. So I am clicking on the third option C. That is the correct option Lebanon. So I think you guessed the same only. Superb, you seem to be a champion came here. Now moving to the fourth question and the first image. So you can easily identify this image. What is the name of the flower? Which uh, celestial body is this flower named after what? Repeating the question. Which uh, celestial body is uh, this flower named after? So what is that uh, celestial body's name? That named after uh, this flower. First of all, what is the name of this flower? Yes, you are right. That is sunflower. Okay, here the options are uh, sun, earth, Jupiter and moon. So you can easily guess that one yeah. from the given options. Uh, so I am adding some more info. The name sunflower comes from the Greek uh, Helios. H-E-L-I-O-S. Helios means uh, sun in Greek. Uh, and Anthos. A-N-T-H-O-S. Anthos means uh, flower. Sunflower got, uh, sunflower got uh, its name because uh, the flowers turn towards the sun. That's why it got its name. Some kinds of sunflowers uh, are grown for food, seeds and oil. A sunflower head uh, can produce uh, up to 1000 seeds. Argentina and Russia grow the most sunflowers uh, in the world. And uh, Kansas is uh, the sunflower state. So as per the question, the correct option is uh, the first one that is sun. So, this flower, mane, this uh, sunflower is uh, named after the celestial body, that is the uh, sun. So, I am clicking on the first option, sun. So, banger came here. Now, moving to the last question, that is fifth one and the second image. Look at the image, you can find some balloons. Identify this vehicle, what is this vehicle? So it is used for traveling purpose, that is it is called a vehicle. Hot air balloons, drones, uh, helicopters or fighter jets, uh, which one you are guessing? So it is not drones, it is not helicopters or fighter jets, uh, only hot air balloons. What do you know about hot air balloons? Okay, I am giving some more info. A hot air balloon is uh, a lighter than aircraft. Uh, consisting of a bag called an envelope. So the bag that is called an envelope which contains heated air. Suspended beneath is a gondola or wicker basket. So suspended beneath is a gondola or a wicker basket. In some long distance or high al altitude balloons it is called a capsule which carries uh, passengers and uh, a source of heat uh, in most cases is uh, and, uh, an uh, open flame caused by burning uh, liquid propane. So, the liquid uh, propane uh, is burnt in it. The hot air balloon is the first uh, successful human carrying flight technology. The first uh, untethered manned hot air balloon flight was uh, Performed by Jean Francois Pilata D. Rosio and uh, Francois Laurent D. Arlandes. Repeating the question, uh, sorry, the um, person's names uh, who flight uh, the untethered manned hot air balloon are Jean Francois. Pilato D. Rosio and the second one is uh, Francosis Laurent D. Arlandes on uh, November 21st, 1783 in uh, Paris, France. So, like that, uh, the, these vehicles started from that uh, time onwards. So, as per the question, the correct option is the first one that is the uh, hot air balloons. So, I am clicking on the first option. So, that side came here. So, 
today's five out of five questions right as appreciation we got well done you are eligible for a lucky draw in this uh, contest uh, amazon pay 30000 and you can check the winners list on uh, 10th september 2021 keep learning and enhance your uh, learning skills daily along with the given questions don't uh, palpitate and uh, discuss the given content with your friends and also don't forget to share with your friends and relatives all to enjoy the content thank you and have a nice day dhanyawad thank you if you like this video do like subscribe and share see you in the next one bye bye